Infrastructure of legislation is at a state level, so it makes it very difficult for recyclers to work with companies that or manufacturers that are willing to keep track of different uh, requirements at a state level. Half of the states in the country have some type of e-waste management regulation on the books, so we have this patchwork of regulations. It is difficult if there's a state-by-state -state difference for everything. There's nothing uniform out there and this, this country definitely needs something like that. This represents <laughs> what I hope will be the first step at the federal level in addressing this growing crisis. Many were hopeful that an e-waste bill introduced in 2009 would address these dilemmas as well as ban manufacturers from putting certain toxic substances in electronic products. The bill addressed none of these concerns, focusing instead on funding research for better recycling technologies. Many technology companies are asking that regulations not be drafted. They feel that voluntary market initiatives are the best way to go. And for good reason. Profits in the tech industry depend on rapid upgrades that keep the lifespan of electronics short and keep consumers spending. Electronic gadgets are being invented and refined on a month-to-month -month basis. They're the ones who put the toxic materials in their products. We think it's necessary to make them be a significant part of the solution. When required to do it by environmental laws, the ingenuity of this industry is enormous. Because of the EU restriction, they're having to find alternatives. The experiment with voluntary e-waste management has clearly failed. After record highs of heavy metal pollution and cancer cases in the countryside, greening the recycling industry has become a national objective for China. The hope is to earn revenue from the raw material taken from e-waste while also scaling back pollution. As more developing countries transition to a digital way of life, Toxins from global e-waste will increase by a staggering amount. There needs to be a shift in this country and really around the world about life cycle thinking where if we're producing something, we have to think of everything that's taking place from the beginning of the production of the product and the end of the life of the product.